Welcome to the Race by Race preview for Happy Valley on Wednesday night. We have got the nine races and on the A course, Paul Lally is here to look at the meeting as always and try and find us nine winners. Should be easy as that and the Big Wave Bay handicap gets us underway at uh, 6.40 Hong Kong time. In the first, Rattan World is on the class. Drop Charming Steed, blinkers off, the pacifiers go on. Brave and Bold has finally drawn a gate and comes back in distance. Soaring Tower, he is uh, second up for the season. Dashing Triumph is on a seven day backup. Noble Boys, blinkers off, Visor is on and Bella Victory will wear a tongue tie once again. Class five pace over the 1200 metres here. Paul has Happily Friends going forward. Charming Steed up outside him. It's nearly worked twice for Happily Friends this season, getting up on the speed, so I can't see them changing it now. No, I think they'll try and lead, and Charming Steed's drawn wide. He should come across now. Soaring Tower's drawn barrier number 10 for the fourth time in a row, so uh, we'll see what happens with him. He might just have to work a little bit early. A dashing triumph, spicy so smart. A battle of victory, I think, will have to go back, and uh, Devil and Gold Rulo, he's drawn barrier number one. He's got no early pace, so he might be out towards the back. Got four replays to try and find you a winner. And first of all, it is a last start performance from Happily Friends. He's leading for home here, Paul. He was run down eventually, but he gave a good sight for a long way. Yeah, he's been doing this, isn't he? He's drawn nicely in barrier four to do it once again. And he'll look like the winner again, I think, at one stage down the straight. I have included him. Um, he is going well at the moment. He doesn't win out of turn, though. That's the only thing with Happily Friends. Just a two-time winner from his 43 starts. And does normally find one to beat him, but it was a good enough run here once again. Matthew Chadwick rides him once again for Chris, so as he has done at his last couple of starts. Off we go now to Chartin, and this is up in Class 4 last time. That is Rattan World. He is second last turning for home. He's on the inside there. Keegan DeMello rides for Jamie Richards. First look at Happy Valley under race conditions. He's trialled there. First time in Class 5. And he made up plenty of ground in this race, didn't he? He really caught the eye, didn't he? This is the best run we've seen from him. And uh, look, he looks like he's definitely on the improve. Comes into the two class five. And look, they don't chase that hard in class five. And if he does something like this similar, I think he's going to be hard to beat on the downgrade. It was a really nice run from him. And you can see him finishing off strongly there for fifth. And the horse that wins that race, I give, has now won four in a row after being victorious at Sha Tin. We roll back to Happy Valley with Dashing Triumph. This will be seven nights prior to the race on Wednesday night. He's found some form in Class 5. He ran third two starts ago to Diamond Saws and then had to settle for a fifth here. Yeah, look, he, we, we don't forget that he did win on debut. This horse off a 52 rating. He's now down to this 33 rating and he's found a bit of form. So looks like he's found his mark. Uh, he's got Zach Purton aboard as well uh, from a nice draw, Barrier 5. So he's one to include for sure. Me Choice horses have been racking up the winners too in the last week and a half to two weeks. And our final replay is that of Soaring Tower, who has had three trials. He runs a third in this one, does Soaring Tower. And uh, the trial is won by Volcanic Spark, and uh, that's him in those red colours. He'll be chased along, but he keeps on. Yeah, I thought he did, yeah. Look, he's won off a 52 rating before this horse. That was his debut here in Hong Kong. He's had 24 starts now, but he has been placed in eight of them. Um, it's just that the joy has got overcome, but he's more than capable. And I thought the trial wasn't too bad. He was pushed out a little bit, but he'll come on nicely from this trial. So he's definitely one to include. What a finish that was. That was a happy valley finish at the trials. It was, wasn't it? Uh, Who do you like in the first? I think of the downgrader, actually, Mark, uh, which is uh, the, the one, Red Hand Kingdom. Uh, he goes on the top for me. Red Hand World, I should say. Red Hand Kingdom, of course, same ownership. But Red Hand uh, World for me from a Soaring Tower. He goes in there for second. A Dashing Triumph and Happily Friends. So we've talked about all four. One, six, seven and eight. Keegan DeMello to win the first. He has a good book of rides on Wednesday night. Does Keegan DeMello the first one he partners for Jamie Richards. This is race number two at Happy Valley on Wednesday night and this is how it looks. It is a class four event over the 1200 metres and Shining Fortune is on the class drop as is Victory Scholars. Shining Fortune has the pacifiers with the cows off and the blinkers going back on. Exuberant last start winner carries an extra five pounds flying on the turf. The blinkers off and the visor is on. Speedy Smarty, he's won over the 1200 metres at Sha Tin. That was early in his career. 
Kazi Farazi has better form at Sha Tin, as does Regent Glory, but he did run second behind Telecom Dragon at the bigger circuit last time. And master of all, now with Chris So, who's added a tongue-tie for the first start from the new stable. Speedy Smarty rolls to the top here, Paul. Happy trio. Master of all do it tough. Big Free Scholars gets a good trip. Yeah, Speedy Smarty up to 1,200, and he's showing speed over the, the thousands. So I think he can get there before Regent Glory, who's the alternative leader. Victory Scholars likes to go forward but not lead. Happy Trio will just need a bit of luck. He might try and get across outside. Speedy Smarty, flying the turf, goes back an exuberant the last start winner. He'll go back from barrier 12. Which is the perfect lead into our first replay because, as you said, Paul Exuberant is a last start winner and here is that victory. Wider draw, barrier number 12. He won from barrier 7 this night. He's had a pretty quiet trial since. He is racing well, but that barrier is going to make it tricky. Yeah, look, he, he had to come from the back anyway, didn't he? And he, he, he'll go back once again. There is a bit of pace in this race, which uh, should suit him. Look, he, he's only a two-time winner from his 20-odd uh, starts. And this uh, he has run second of a 59 rating before. So he is rated 54. So he's more than capable, and he's in a bit of form at the moment. All right, that is exuberant and a good report for him to kick us off. Straight racing at Sha Tin comes up next. Now, this is two starts ago for Shining Fortune. He since failed on the all-weather. This was a good run over probably an unsuitable distance for him, and he has competed well over the 1,200 at Happy Valley in the past. He has. With, yeah, he has. He hasn't won there, but he has uh, uh, competed well. Now, both his wins have been all-weather uh, runs. Uh, uh, wins. So he did run on the all-weather last time. He has had a run since this. But look, the, the run wasn't too bad here, and he, he did finish off nicely enough. He does have to carry the top weight of 135 pounds, does a shining fortune. We move on now to a happy trio who finishes second here. He's had a couple of runs back from a spell. Not beaten far behind Tattenham. In fact, he went down in a very close finish and Tattenham has come out and raced well since. He has. Uh, different track conditions you'd expect on Wednesday night. This was a good to yielding track. But the horse has uh, performed well on top of the ground as well. He's won second of a 50 rating. He's just slightly higher than 52. But he is in form, and I don't think this is an overly strong race. That is a happy trio there up on the outside. And our final replay, Regent Glory. Can he finally turn some form around at Happy Valley? This run would suggest, well, we know there's some ability there. He's placed uh, a few times from 20 starts and has a win at 1,400 metres. Does he get an opportunity this week? Yeah, well, he's 5-zip at Happy Valley. That's the only problem now. So he's 5-zip uh, he's and... I just worry about coming to Happy Valley for him. He, he's got a little bit of pace and he does come in with a light weight. So if he does uh, manage to get in, but um, look, I'm going to I'm going to take a sit against him with that Happy Valley record. Right, yeah, it is a concern, and it's Telecom Dragon winning, Kaying Cheer running mm. third. Speedy Smarty Paul, he started life off with a bit of a bang and just plateaued a bit after that. But you think that could change this week? Yeah, well, look, he, he's had two runs already this season, so he should be at peak fitness uh, third up. I think if he does lead, and a change of jockey with Lyle Hewitt's on the board, and we know how well Lyle can rate those front runners, so I just think he's a jockey who's going to be suited with this horse. He doesn't wear deodorant. They don't want to go near him when he's in front, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I'll let you talk to him about that. <laughs> but I've, I've, got, uh, I've got him on top, uh, Speedy Smarty. Uh, he's, uh, he's going to be a big prize, so I've made him the each way play. Exuberant, again, uh, has run second of a 59 rating. He's rated 54, happy trio. And also Victory Scholars, you should get the perfect run just in, just in behind, but another horse that doesn't win out of turn. Eight, three, five, and two. There you have it, Speedy Smarty. Get some value to win race number two for Paul. We step up to the 16.50 for the first time on Wednesday night in race number three. And the preview looks this way for the Class 5 Gallopers with the post time for this race at 7.40 local time. A right Honourable is a five-time course and distance winner. Nice Birdie has the blinkers coming off. Brother Pearl has the blinkers coming off. Faithful Trinity is a five-time course and distance winner. Chiron minus the cheek pieces plus the blinkers. Oh, Medical Elite's running again on a Wednesday night. Turbo Power has the blinkers coming off and Beauty Nova has the hood removed. Having said that, Paul, he just keeps going good races, does Medical Elite, so I can completely understand why we see him again. Yeah, he, he'll be fit. Uh, look, Faithful Trinity likes to go forward. Uh, he's drawn the outside. So he might have to work a bit to get over there, but there's no other leader in the race, so I think he will get across. Happy Jai Jai can be uh, positive. Double show won't be far away. Uh, nice birdie. Medical Elite has uh, drawn well, so he should be able to get a nice run uh, there midfield. Uh, Chiron, right honourable. He races best when he goes back. For the Grand Jackpot, we've got two races to show you. Can you name the horse that's in both of them? 
Uh, I'd say happy. Oh, no, Medicalita, yeah, of course. Very yeah, good. Course. Oh, you yeah. nearly went to uh, the consolation round. OK, talk us through the first replay as your prize. OK, let's have a look at this. And uh, happy Jai Jai is the one I'm going to take out of it. He's going to put himself right and right on the pace. He's going nice. He's got Zach Purton aboard as well. I'm going to put Medic Le uh, Elite in as well, though, because he, he have to because he's so fit. And in this grade, he's just he'll run he'll run a race. So uh, from barrier one, he goes in. So both happy Jai Jai and uh, Medic Elite will go in the race. And as you can see, these two sort of fought out this particular contest at this stage and were just swamped late. So. A nice run from both these two horses in this particular contest. Chiron and Regency Happy Star finishing well back. Regency Happy Star has run fourth at the trials. He was pushed out late to run fourth, beaten a length and a quarter. Next replay, Paul. Double shows holding his form. It was a little bit iffy if uh, it would stack up after that superb move race, but he backed it up here with a placing. Yeah, he did, and look, he, he ran well. Faithful Trinity couldn't get to the front this time, so uh, th there's that question mark from Barrier 12, but I think he can probably get across. And Right Honourable was just sort of held up at a, a vital stage there. Once he got into the clear, he wasn't too far away, and he, he finished sixth in this contest. So um, Right Honourable, I think he's so he's getting on in age. He's an old boy now as a nine-year-old, but he, he's really well rated. He is. He comes in off a rating of 38, does Right Honourable. That's our two replays for the Class 5. Is the winner amongst them? I think so. I'm going to go with uh, Happy Jai Jai. He's a regular as well on a Wednesday night. So we're going with the regulars here and Happy Jai Jai and Medical Elite. We, we see a lot of the both of them. Uh, nice birdie. Now he's coming back to Happy Valley and he's been running pretty well at the Valley. And Right Honourable gets back and runs on. 3 8 2 1. Happy Jai Jai. Two starts for two placings this time in. Paul thinks we'll go one or two spots better and win race number three. You're watching the race by race preview for Happy Valley on Wednesday night, and race number four is what we look at now. This race is a 1,000 metre class four. Sergeant Pepper is racing consistently, he carries the 135 pounds at the top of the book. E brother, first time over the 1,000, he comes back from the 1,200. Fortune Warrior raced wide from barrier 10 last time. He's had no luck with the gates this week. Colourful Prince coming back from the 12 to the 1,000. Fancy Star and Heyday have both trialled since their last starts. King Invincible, beaten favourite last time but pulled up Aurora. Bylos has had the six trials for this season and super fast dragon raced wide on the all weather. Drops back to the 1,000 metres around Happy Valley. Pace here, Paul, from Colourful Prince and E Brother. Both of them better known over 1,200 metres. They are. So they're back to 1,000, but they've both got uh, pace. Now, Sergeant Pepper, from his draw, Barrier 9, he, he's going to probably try and get to the lead. So he's going to push on from that wide draw. Uh, Philos has shown a little bit of early pace, but uh, not much stamina in his trials. A uh, savvy delight. Heyday led in a recent trial, but on, on his uh, debut run, he didn't. So expect him to be sort of midfield. Fancy Star ran off on his debut run, so I expect him to go back this time. More on Heyday and what he did in that trial now with Matthew Poon. Matthew, Heyday has his second start on Wednesday night. You've ridden him in a trial and the trial looked good. Yeah, he is, but I think like he had one start uh, at starting. I think he's ran, ran all right, uh, but uh, at the trial, I still feel like uh, he got some ability, but still quite young and green, uh, have to learn a bit more. But I think he got a ability, but just see second start, how much he can solve. He showed good pace in that trial. Would you like to lead on Wednesday night? Uh, depend. Actually, we don't. Uh, we don't discuss. Like me and Vicky didn't discuss yet. So, uh, but I think he, uh, his style also uh, will be on pace, maybe lead or or first four. But I'm not sure what the instruction is. Uh, but he he got good gate speed. So. Uh, from very safe and definitely uh, make him jump positive and see where I end up. On your own form, it's been a good couple of weeks for you. We're placing in a group race on uh, Sunday with Champion Dragon. He went a, a really good race, didn't he? Uh, he is. He is actually. I think. I think he's quite honest horse. He can handle the tempo well. So carry it like where uh, he do his bad, and I think he he he, he performed really well. So we're pretty happy with the result.
Good few weeks for Matthew Poon. A few winners along the way to outside of that placing with Champion Dragon. So that was Heyday, who's coming to Happy Valley for the first time. This is uh, races including Sergeant Pepper, King Invincible, Savvy Delight and Fortune Warrior. Sergeant Pepper, Paul, he was a winner four starts ago. He's been maybe unlucky not to win another one since. Yeah, he has. Um, he's just got to overcome barrier nine with pace underneath him. Look, I think he'll eventually get across, but he's just going to have to work a little bit, uh, Sergeant Pepper. I, I, I like the way Sevy Delight finished off here. He, he wasn't too too far away as well. Uh, the other one, um, Invinci uh, King Invincible, just worry about him internally. Yep, absolutely, with uh, King Invincible. Our next replay features All Weather Form with Colourful Prince up on the pace here. Now, he has raced around Happy Valley, and he led for home one night. He ended up fading to finish in a place, but he gave a good sight, does have a good draw, stable in form, and it's Keegan Namello on board for Douglas White. Yeah, so he's likely to lead. E Brother got really well back here, but he's another one that's a, normally an on-pace runner on the turf as well. So um, he, I'd expect them both to be up there on the on the, on the the pace. Uh, Superfast Dragon, the other one is, uh, look, I think he's better on the all-weather what we've seen so far. He's a big horse too, so maybe wait for Shartin for Super Fast Dragon. Yeah, it could well be. Yeah, actually, Shartin uh, turf down the straight 1000 is probably better. All right, so a pause on him this week. And uh, Philos Philos Paul is a first starter. Here he is running third. That's Sparkling Dolphin, a module construction to the outside. He's had plenty of trials. A win would surprise on what he's done so far leading into this debut? Yeah. Uh, six trials, as you said, hood on, tongue tie on. 11.53 pounds and was really pushed out on this trial. So, look, I'm just happy to watch him go around, I think. Well, he's drawn Barry number one, does get a five pound claim. So he will get every opportunity on what will be a fast run race from the inside. But as you can see, he's ridden along late in that trial behind Module Construction, who trialled up pretty well. He's a nice horse, is the winner. Selection's full. He's racing on Saturday too, Module okay. Construction. Uh, got the eight on top here. I'm going to go with uh, uh, this horse here, which is um, Heyday. I just really liked his trial. I thought he'd come on a bit. Matthew wasn't that keen on him, though, was he? But he seemed to have come on a bit from that trial. So he's on top. Sebi Delight, uh, the 1,000 metres looks ideal for him. And he's drawn nicely in barrier four. Sergeant Pepper might just have to work to get across. And then Colourful Prince put him there on a minor line. Again, he has run well around Happy Valley, and he's drawn nicely in barrier two. Eight, four, one, and six. That is race number four. And race number four is the first leg of six up. Trophy race is race number five. It is the Community Chest Cup and it's over the 1,650 metres. And start time is 8.40. Gallant Hero draws Barry number 12. All of his wins have been 1,800 plus. Master Tornado has placed two from five course and distance. Super Baby with blinkers on the first time. Beauty Mission's a last start. Winner carries an extra six pounds. Amazing Boy, second to Beauty Mission last time. Strongest Boy comes to Happy Valley for his second look. He was placed behind D-Star at his only go at the trip. Two Infinities won twice, but both in class five at the 16.50. And MM Nebula is racing well. He comes up in grade after those class five performances. And he's going to go forward here, Paul. Lucky Benner, so unlucky not to win last time. And then we march two by two back through the field. Looks that way. I think everyone's going to get their chance. MM Nebula likes the lead. As you say, Lucky Banner ran really well on the pace last time. Master Tornado's uh, led in the past as well, so he's another possibility, as has Super Baby. But I think they'll be the first four. Amazing boy. But all the way back to Shinkansen, who is up in trip, but does, does his best running when he comes from the back. We'll have a look at Shinkansen shortly. Firstly, though, it's winning form around Beauty Mission. 26 starts it took for him to finally win a race. There was money for Amazing Boy. He just had to go wide on the turn to get around the tiring E Glory and Beauty Mission was able to zip through the middle and off with the prize. Yeah, won really nicely, yeah, Beauty Mission. It was a yielding track, so I don't know how much that helped him. Uh, we know Amazing Boys perform well on the on a good track, as, so I think he's probably going to be a little bit better, better suited by the conditions that will come up on Wednesday night. I'm going to put them both in, but both on minor lines here, but they both ran nicely. Keegan DeMello rode Amazing Boy into second that night. He's also been riding Shinkansen. Don't know if he got the choice of rides, but he is the horse that we look at now, Paul, and that extra distance has to be a bonus. Yeah, and it looks like he's been crying out for it. Uh, hits the line really strongly, so yeah, he definitely uh, goes in. He's one of the main chances. Uh, Shinkansen, as you say, up to the uh, 1650, uh, looks good. He's by Rubik, the source. He's drawn uh, barrier 11, but it doesn't really matter with the source because he gets back anyway. 
It's just the uh, the uptake and distance. But you can see him here. He's number 11. He's coming through the field nicely. And with that extra 400 on 50 metres, I think it's going to be right up his street. That was Wood on Fire and the Purple who came out and won the start following. Strongest boy, fifth. He's just on the outside on those green, yellow and red colours turning for home at Sha Tin last time. Cheng Cheng Glory, your current pin-up horse, wins this one. Aestheticism's out of the race also. He was unlucky on the weekend and a strongest boy. 11 start maiden but does appear to be getting close. Look, Cheng Cheng Glory absolutely walked this uh, field and so was he was the one making ground down the outside. I thought it was a really good run from Strongest Boy. He's had to come off a really slow pace and hit the line really nicely. Master Hero and Athleticism both run well on the weekend. So uh, he's run well. He's only hit the one side of Happy Valley, but again, he came off a slow pace to, to run nicely in that one as well. And D-Star was in grand form, yeah. the horse that beat him at that stage. Yeah, exactly right. So, he, so he's on top. I'm going to go with uh, Strongest Boy on, on top here. I think he can win this race. Uh, Shinkansen, the hardest to beat. And then Amazing Boy and Beauty Mission. So eight, nine, seven, six. Just like that, that is the preview for race number five, the first leg of the Triple Trio. On to race number six now, and we've got three replays to look at for this one after we check out the field, which is a class four over the 1200 metres. A America Spexo goes from the 1000 up to the 1200 metres here. Uh, we've got wider draw for Tegepi, Island Golden second time at Happy Valley. Aromatica has had the three trials round the globe. Blinkers come off. Sea Sapphire has won a trial since finishing 10th at his first start. Easy snip, second look around the valley. See You Again's won off a rating of 51 course and distance and Storm Trooper. He's run 10 placings here over the 1200 metres for just the one win and wears blinkers for the first time. Around the globe, C Sapphire. He showed pace in that trial recently. Paul C Sapphire. Island Golden's gone forward. Or old Tegepi might be uh, working from out in his gate of number 11. Yeah, Angus might have to earn his money here from Barry 11 if he wants to get in. He might have to go all the way back uh, as a possibility or try and get outside the, the leader. So there are options for him. Uh, I don't think he'd just want to sit three wide. Um, lyrical motion to get a nice enough run, easy snip. Stormtrooper went a lot better at his last start and he's well rated. Aromatic is the first starter here in Hong Kong and he hasn't shown much at early speed in his trials. That is the speed map for race number six. Our first replay, we're going right to the bottom of the book. There was money for this horse this night. It's Lyrical Motion. First start for Casper Founds. He ended up running second behind co-partner Ambition. What of him this week? Yeah, he ran well. He should get a nice, um, a nice run against the rail as well. A Lyrical Motion. Uh, the, the little query is the class. He's had nine starts in the class. He's only been placed once, but that was this one. And as you say, he's, um, he is now with Casper uh, Founds. Still a maiden from 17 starts, so he's hard to have in a win line, although the horse running down the outside, Righteous Aaron, did come out and win. He did indeed, so the form around him is good. On to our next replay, and this features Round the Globe running fifth, Telecom Speed sixth, and Tegepi is well back here. But as we saw on the speed map, it's just how much ground he's going to cover. Yeah, look, he, he was taken on a bit Round the Globe uh, in this race. He's drawn nicely in barrier number three uh, with uh, a Xenia board and... Blinkers will come off him, so obviously they think the gear change will help him. It looked like he was going to drop right out of this race, but look, to, to his credit, he did stick on uh, reasonably. Uh, Tegepi ran really nicely, but it's just where he's going to be in the run. A Americ to spec, so 1,000 metres last time. That too short for him. He's going to love the step up, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, look, his two wins have been over this distance, uh, uh, over the course and distance, in fact. So with the 1,200 metres, with the downgrade, uh, Zach Purton aboard, everything sort of points that this could be the right race for A. Americ to spec. So, and you can see he's doing his best work late. This was over the 1,000, and he really stretched out nicely here and uh, finished off here for fourth. So uh, with this run, he'd be third up now. I think he's going to be tough to beat. He's beaten Mugen at the trial since then, so it's a very, very good trial from him. You can find that right here on the website. We move on, Paul, to your selections, but you've given it away. Yeah, A. Americ to spec, so for me, a well-rated horse. He's a two-time course and distance winner and uh, has won both those uh, in Class 4. Round the globe, I think, can get a nice run. I thought Stormtrooper was a better run from him last time, and he's a really well-rated horse. And then Island Golden, just the one-time winner from his 10 starts, that was on debut. But the run in particular two starts ago behind Always Fluke was pretty good. I like the fact he's coming back to Happy Valley. 1, 7, 11 and 5. And Zach Purton and John Size from Paul to win race number 6.
Repulse Bay Handicap is race number seven. Interesting race, this one, with Sweet Encounter coming to Happy Valley for the first time and drawing barrier number 12. Perfect team as a last start winner on the all-weather. Senior rider this week, plus the victory, means he has an extra 14 pounds on his back. Beauty Missile, visor off, blinkers go on. Torbjorn Prince is on a seven-day backup. Maldives has his first look at 1,800 metres, as does a charity bingo. Lean Heroes won three times at the 1650, and like a couple of others, he's running over this distance for the first time. Quantum Patches minus the tongue tie. Intrepid winner third last start. And Friend Tank, seven-day backup, was smashed in betting last week and ended up running seventh in the race won by Chul Chibi. Torby and Prince going forward here, Paul, Sweet Encounter, Quantum Patch out there wide. Yeah, and I keep my deceptive work across to get um, outside the leader, but the thing with this start, the 1800 metre start, you've got the whole of the front straight and a little bit of a shoot there to, to get to uh, into position. So he should be able to get into his position, but Torby and Prince, uh, he led really well two starts ago and everything went horribly wrong for him last time. Young Brilliant's another possibility to lead. A friend tech might have to go back with perfect team. That's the speed map leader where we start. Jerry Chow rides Torby and Prince. Jerry back on board Torby and Prince on Wednesday night. He seems to enjoy racing around Happy Valley. Yeah, since he's changed to um, draw the Ben Young stable, and and he's I trial him um, in Chonghua and and he trial well, and when I ride him the first time in Happy Valley and. He travelled well and he he got he have a he have a big stride and he just keep his momentum and he went second, went well. You say keeping momentum, how important is that going to be stepping up to the eighteen hundred this week? Um I think eighteen hundred even better for him because he, he got a big stride and he, he when he keep his momentum he, he, he won't stop and I think eighteen hundred is good for him. Yeah. With that momentum again, would you like to go forward and control the speed from a better draw? Yeah, definitely. He got a, a good barrier and hopefully he can use his speed to, to roll forward and just control the pace and let him, yeah, just keep him going. Yeah. He's on a quick backup from last week. You didn't ride him, but he got in trouble mid-race, but it didn't seem to worry him at all. It's a surprise to me. He, he stayed behind and, and I think the most more important thing for him to just keep his momentum down, um, getting have cover and, and pull back and, and this is get him going and last time when Keris from the outside he, he did that and just keep his momentum outside and the horse still went well. Jerry Chow there on Torby and Prince. Busy horse but racing very, very well. Perfect team, Paul. Last start winner on the all weather. He went off at a price of 11 to 1 in this. You've been with Maldives a few times and Beauty Missile is well back in this race. Look, he runs fourth Maldives and he's been doing this. He's been sort of um, getting back and sort of running on midfield races or running sort of fourth. He's run fourth, sixth and fourth in his last three starts. Um, so look, I'm, I'm going to leave him alone this time. Uh, Beauty Missile, and Blinkers will go back on him. He finished well back but has drawn nicely in barrier number one. Too much weight, perfect team? Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about uh, Lean Hero? He's been one of yours in the past too. Here he is running third. This race was his first go in class three and he draws nicely in two. Yeah, and up to 1,800 for the first time being by Morris is really going to suit this horse. So, yeah, he definitely goes in. He's drawn nicely, as you say, barrier number two. So he will get his opportunity uh, once again. So uh, I don't think the distance is going to hold any fears whatsoever for this horse. So I think he's one of the major chances. Derek Long on board for David Hayes with Lean Hero. David with the winner on the weekend. And finally, Sweet Encounter. He's won over the 1800 at Sha Tin. He's just unknown here at Happy Valley. Yeah, that's just the query with him. He, he's drawn barrier number 12, so he's just going to have to work a little bit. Look, we know he's, well, he's had four goes in this class for two, two wins in two seconds. So he obviously, um, he's in the right grade, isn't he? He is. What's the makeup of your top four? Going to go with the four, though, Tor Torby and Prince. I thought he was really unlucky at uh, his last start. He hit the, sort of, he sort of got, sort of cascaded out wide going around that first bend and still st stayed on really nicely. CP Brave, now we haven't talked about him, but he's a really well uh, rated horse. His last one was off 81. He's down to 66 and he hit the line really nicely for fourth behind, or fifth behind Algate last time. Uh, Lean Hero, we talked about him. And Charity Bingo, uh, up to the 1800 looks ideal from a low draw. Four, six, eight, and seven. Race number seven, if you're a treble punter, is the first leg of the late treble.
race number eight. A couple of good races, as is the norm to brush home with on Wednesday night. The first of them, race number eight, is a class three event with a lightning bolt unbeaten at Happy Valley, two for two. Grateful Heart, cheek pieces off, the blinkers go on, seizing the moment, minus the pacifiers with cows, but blinkers go back on. Three-time course and distance winner he is too. Uh, Beauty Glory, good first up, just uh, peaked a little bit after that with two starts. Sweet Briar ran third at his first look at the track. Youth Power's newcomer for David Hayes from Italy. Lucky Gore's a two-time course and distance winner. Jumbo Fortune's now a 22-start maiden. E Universe, all of his best form is in class four. Lucky Gore, Sweet Briar and E Universe, the first three across the track there, Paul. Good run for Biddy Glory and Lightning Bolt down on the inside. Yeah, he should get a nice run. He's won his last couple, just up and wait now. Uh, e Universe, he's only a little horse and he is coming with a light weight, but he's just going to have to do it tough from that wide draw. Uh, Storm Legend gets back, Kimberly gets back. Youth Power is a debut runner here in Hong Kong, but he hasn't shown too much early speed. It is an interview we start with for race number eight. The rider of Sweet Briar is Lyle Hewitson. Lyle, first look at Happy Valley for Sweetbriar last time. Did he handle the track well? Yeah, I thought he, he did, a, did a good job there first time. Um, got a bit uh, unbalanced in that, that final turn, which meant that they flashed him out pretty easy. But um, he found his feet again and um, fought on towards the line. Um, still sort of umming and ahhing where, where he's better. Probably leaning towards Charlton at this stage. Just gives him more time to find his feet and, and kick on. But you know, for a first run, I think that was commendable and the form stood up well. He meets Lightning Bolt better at the weights this week, so you must be giving yourself a good chance of turning the result around. Yeah, and he's always on the app, you know, so you're always going to expect a little bit of improvement every time he steps steps out, and that being his first time at the course as well, he should improve from it. So, uh, awkward barrier to, to uh, work with, but um, he's a horse that um, is, is pretty versatile and he's got a bit of tactical speed too, so and we'll work it out and, and give him a, a, as good a run as possible. Showed in that race too, he's certainly up to winning in Class 3. Yeah, I have no doubts, and I think that he will step up to uh, the extra furlong as well uh, eventually and uh, back here at Charlton where he will continue to be uh, in, in good form and continue to be a, a chance horse every time he steps out. You rode him track work on Monday, good feel? Yeah, he's not the best uh, horse at track, although he went through his paces as well as he can for him, so I'm um, going to the race in good form. Nice win on Wide Blue Yonder on the weekend, another one you managed to pinch in front. Yeah, um, look, I think the track had um, a, a little bit of bias on, on the day, especially early on the card. And um, look, he was big odds, but probably not rightly so. I thought he's in class four, he's a horse that was certainly capable of doing it. Sweet Briar and Lyle Hewitt's in there talking his chances. Your thoughts on Sweet Briar, Paul, because he's had this trial since that uh, race we saw in the interview with Lyle and ready to win, not seen since the third race of the season where he ran, won in rainy conditions and won well in this trial. He did, didn't he? And look, he's still a well-rated horse. Um, uh, he's, he's won off a higher rating in, uh, than this that he'll be racing against on Wednesday night. So I think, look, I think he's a good chance uh, really to win. I also like Sweet Briar. He's had that look around Happy Valley. He meets uh, Lightning Bolt so much better in the weights as well. So I think he's a good chance and it was a nice quiet trial from him. He sat wide early in that trial too and just allowed to cruise down to the winning post was Sweet Briar. Back to Happy Valley now we go for Lightning Bolt and uh, he's just found form. He's raced consistently on the all-weather, struggled on the Shah Tin Turf, comes to Happy Valley and just can't beat him. Bang, bang. He's had the two starts here and he's won uh, both of them. Uh, Lightning Bolt is going well. He's right up in the weights now. So, uh, look, Sweet Brian meets him nine pounds better off. He's got barrier number five. Uh, so that's a nice draw from him. He should get his opportunity with the run, but... Just with that extra weight, I, I'm still including him because he just loves Happy Valley. He does. That is lightning bolt. And now some rainy conditions for Lucky Gore, who leads on the speed map. Two-time winner over the 1,200 metres, but a higher grade for him. Yeah, just worried about the class for uh, Lucky Gore, Lucky Gore uh, with him. Okay. We don't know how much he was affected by this rain. This was his first start in, in the... Well, his first start back in the grade. So, look... Did he handle it? It doesn't look like he did. He was running around a little bit, so maybe he's a little bit better, um, you know, sort of on top of the ground, but you can see he really struggled late. He did indeed, and uh, after looking like he was going to finish in the money, faded for a fifth spot. Sweet Briar? Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Sweet Briar. Just meets Lightning Bolt so much better in the weights. He's on top, just wedged in between, is ready to win. 
Uh, his uh, win was good. He's the last start winner this season. He's had one for one. And uh, he's one of 64. He's at the 63 rating now. And Grateful Heart blinkers on him for the first time as a seven-year-old. But it was a better run from him last time. And he has drawn the inside gate. 7 10 one, two. Lyle Hewitson for Francis Loy with Sweet Briar in race number eight for Paul. It's a very good race to finish the meeting on Wednesday night. Race number nine up to class two, class four it. And it is over the 1,200 metres. Rewarding together comes out of group racing at Char 10. He's won six times course and distance. Majestic star up in trip from the 1,000 to the 1,200. Nordic Dragon back to his favourite place of Happy Valley. Campione has placed first up. He has had three trials prior to this race. Goko win, Happy Valley debut, trialled here in November of 2022. Wide draw again for power kept. Reward Spola lightweight in Sonpak Fu and Exponential down the bottom of the book. Exponential running at Sha Tin last time. We know he always goes forward at Happy Valley Pool and tries really, really hard. Yeah, he does. Look, uh, Campione might just make him work early, but I think Exponential's got the early speed on the turf to uh, cross Campione. Uh, reward Smile, he can go forward as well. He went back over a thousand last time. Majestic Star, likewise, should get a better run. A uh, bundle of charm, just might have to work from a wide draw and Sonpak Food, likewise, from Barrier 9. More on Sonpak Fu right now with his rider, Jerry Chow. Jerry, you ride Sonpak Fu again this week. Is he your favourite horse? Because looking at the, the form guide, the track work guide, you don't let anybody else ride him. Yeah, he's my favourite horse and I, I bit worry when he go up to cast two and he get it lightweight and I, I can't ride, but luckily I still can make the weight to ride him, yeah. He's been a very good horse to you, hasn't he? Yeah, he, um, I get along with him a uh, long, long time and I, I know him well and I think he got a quality to, to get competitive in cast two. Let's go back to that last start. You must have been very proud of his effort. Big weights on a wet track. Yeah, he uh, f uh, first start in the season and he get a top weight. And lucky that day raining and good for him. And he's just, he went really well. Uh, really um, happy his, his, his form this season. As you don't let anybody else ride the horse, how's his work been since then? He worked well. I rode him last gallop and he everything ready. And he got a light weight this time. I think he, 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 I think he got a good chance. On yourself, are you happy how the season is going? Um, I'm still happy about that. Um, but sometimes when I say I get a bit unlucky, like last Sunday got, got beat by the nose. And yeah, but hopefully everything getting better and better. Jerry Chow there, Re Son Pak Fu. Our replay pool first up features Reward Smile, who's consistent, really lightweight, and Majestic Star running fourth. He's won off a rating of 91 on the all weather, 83.76 over this course and distance. Yeah, and look, both these horses, this is a thousand metres, so it was a strong run uh, race this with uh, Kirpany and uh, Seasons Wit, who ended up winning the race really nicely. But uh, both Reward Smile and I thought Majestic Star ran very nice, uh, very well. So it was a good run from both those two. I think they're both good chances in this up to 1,200. Big tick for that pair. Speaking of big, what about the number of horses in this that uh, back up? Exponential 10th, Reward Smile again. Bundle of Charm 3rd, he draws 12. Nordic Dragon comes back to Happy Valley, loves the place. I'm a single man, is struggling. Goko Win runs 13th and Power Kep 11th. So of the seven... In this, who are we talking about? Nordic Dragon, I think we have to talk about him. Uh, Sha Tin, three zip. Is he a duffer at Sha Tin? He still ran nicely enough here. It comes to Happy Valley, seven starts, five wins. It tells the story, doesn't it? He comes back to Happy Valley. This is a strong race, this one. Reward, small. Now, he does run well, both at um, Sha Tin and Happy Valley, but I think uh, both these two are going to run nicely here. That was Flying Ace in the yellow colours. He trolled really well at Sha Tin on Tuesday morning too. If you've been keeping an eye out for him or if you've been keeping an eye out for Paul's selections, here they are. Yep, uh, Nordic Dragon on top here. He's a course and distance specialist, so he's on top. Going to put Majestic Star in there for a second. Uh, again, a well-rated horse here and he's going to really come through uh, late um, and finish off strongly. Now, we did see him over 1,000 and... He ran second off a 96 rating. He's at this 95. So I think he's more than capable. Reward Smile in there for third. And rewarding together, talking about uh, rated horses. Now, he's 
uh, last win was off 95. He's slightly higher at 98, but does come out of group company. He'll find this so much easier. 3, 2, 10, 1. That's the preview for Happy Valley on Wednesday night. Nine races on the A course, and the first race is at 6.40.